friends, it's me Flo and happy Star Wars Day. Um, I've dressed for the occasion. I've got my BB-8 Mickey ears on. I did my makeup. Um, this side's the light side. And this side is the dark side and it's got a little bit of like, like lightning crackle because I'm cool like that. And I got my favourite Chewy shirt on. Um, what you looking at? I got that five years ago now at Walt Disney World. And this is my new friend that I got on eBay. I was in Walt Disney World when these were first released. It was like the first Last Jedi merch release. I went into the store in Tomorrowland in uh, Magic Kingdom and it was just Last Jedi. And I think it was like the first time I'd seen the promo pictures. It was a good time, it was a good time. So I have named him um, Pedro Pork Scowl um, because I just rewatched The Mandalorian and so it's <laughs> Pedro Pascal is on my brain. So this is Pedro Pork Scowl. I'm gonna put him down now. So, with it being Star Wars Day and with me loving Star Wars, then I thought I would talk about Star Wars. I'm just gonna talk about like how I got into it, why I love it, what it means to me. I'm definitely not alone when I say I've always been acutely aware of Star Wars, even if it didn't really become anything significant until 2016 for me. I think I was three years old when The Phantom Menace came out, which means I was in six when Attack of the Clones came out and nine when Revenge of the Sith came out and I remember vaguely being aware <laughs> I like remember Jar Jar Binks being a thing I remember like I have memories from when I was younger and just knowing about Jar Jar Binks um I remember like Padme's iconic like black and red um Phantom Menace look with the big headdress so big headdress doesn't really narrow it down when it comes to Padme but um, and also, I think like pod racing Anakin, I'm sure like those are the things that stick out to me as things that I remembered when I was younger. Um, and I remember the hype for Revenge of the Sith, but I just wasn't bothered about it. And of course I always knew, you know, like, I knew like Princess Leia and, and Chewie, R2-D2, C-3PO, Yoda, Darth Vader, all that lot. Like, I, yeah, I was aware of them, but I just didn't really have any interest in them and... I think it's weird because I think it was almost like a my brain I was like this is a boy thing like this is a boy then a girl but at the same time like I that's the same person who was sad when she went to see Santa and asked for a train and Santa told her that trains were for boys so I don't know also like my dad was always really into Star Wars and like I guess just maybe I'm a girl he just assumed I wouldn't get into it I don't know I knew about it didn't really care for it we just didn't really have any interest in it. I wish I'd grown up with it. I really do. Um, I, I wish that I had memories of it from when I was younger and, and, and like not just from when I was 20 onwards, but that's just how life goes. So it wasn't until 2015 that I rewatched um, all the Star Wars movies. Um, I remember my mum trying to show me the um, Star Wars movies when I was a lot younger and I think I just didn't care. All I remember of that is Luke's home in Tatooine. That's all I remember of the entire original trilogy. She probably wouldn't have shown me the prequels because she doesn't like them. But before The Force Awakens came out when I was 19 in 2015, um, oh, now you know how old I am. <laughs> my mum decided to sit me down and watch um, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, because that is the correct order to watch it. So then I was sort of all, all caught up, uh, ready to watch the force awakens and i didn't hate it i watched it i paid attention i was like okay cool this is fine i don't hate it the end saw the force awakens and i was like okay this is cool don't hate it the end <laughs> so again i was still pretty indifferent even when i saw the force awakens for the first time it's kind of weird like i didn't even know who adam driver was at that point i remember like Kylo Ren took his mask off my mum was like oh I know that guy and I'm like no clue uh, how times have changed skip forward to 2016 when I went on my Disney program for those that don't know which is probably very few of you because I don't shut up about it even five years on is that um from early June until mid-August I worked at Walt Disney World in Florida that's when I got these and um I worked at Animal Kingdom Pizza Fari quick service food and beverage it was a good time I can't believe it's been five years, honestly. I'm gonna do a video about it on like the five year anniversary because <laughs> um, <laughs> I wanna talk about it because it was a good time. And also I have like a lot of thoughts and things. So I'll do that another time. That's a story for another day as Chase would say, I think. So I remember on the plane to Florida, 
um, to go to my program, I watched two things. I watched Zootopia and I watched The Force Awakens, and this would actually be a little bit of a foreshadowing moment. The Zootopia at this point was already one of my, my favourite Disney films at the time, and I still love it a lot. I just love it, it's such a good film. And honestly, Try Everything from Zootopia kind of became like the anthem of my um, program, like Try Everything, and um, I always, this is probably really lame, I just remember walking from the Contemporary to Magic Kingdom and like walking under the monorail and I'd be listening to Try Everything and I'd just be like, I'm Judy Hopps. Uh, Zootopia would go to be one of my favourite things in Magic Kingdom. My first memory of Magic Kingdom during Traditions, I saw Nick Wilde in the dance parade and he waved at me and that's my first memory of Magic Kingdom ever and so that was very special and then the dance parade, Ma uh, Move It Shake It, became like my favourite thing in Magic Kingdom because of Judy and Nick and I used to see them all the time and it was a good time. Then, Force Awakens, I watched it on the plane because I think there was nothing else I really wanted to watch and I was like, okay, this film is pretty cool, I'll watch it again. And then Star Wars became a huge part of my life and a huge part of my programme and like my love for Star Wars just exploded! So yeah, foreshadowing on the plane, who knew? Yeah, my second day of having my main gate pass, so two days after traditions, I had two free days. First day I went to Magic Kingdom for a whole day, because of course you do, that is the first park you do, it is kind of like the law. And then the second day I decided to go to Hollywood Studios, um, I was meeting up with some friends that I went to Magic Kingdom with, but they weren't coming till later in the day, and then I did get adopted by some American CP, I'm now just talking all about my programme instead of Star Wars. <laughs> but yes, I got, I got like adopted by some American CPs that day, it was really cute. Nice way to make friends! And then um, I think between seeing them and then meeting up with my other friends, I decided to go check out Launch Bay, Star Wars Launch Bay, because, I mean, I didn't hate Star Wars, and I was like, well, I'm, I want to check it out, Star Wars stuff is supposed to be pretty cool here, and I love meeting characters, meeting characters at Disney Parks is one of my favourite things to do, so I want to go meet Chewie and Kylo Ren, because I think they're going to be a lot different than meeting my faves like uh, Donald, Stitch, um, and all that. Lot. I was really excited, and it was such a cute time, I love meeting Chewie and like I stepped through those doors into Launch Bay not knowing that that place would become like another home. I love meeting Chewie, he gives the best hugs, I think the first time I met him I was like I'm a princess and he was like "Oh." and um, of course Kylo Ren is so fun to meet because he has to be grumpy all the time so you can kind of just tease him a little bit and it's just so much fun and so yeah I loved it that first day and then from there I went there a lot on my program, it was probably my second most visited park after Animal Kingdom because I worked at Animal Kingdom. Countless times, like after work, if I finished at 8, that means I could zip over to Hollywood Studios for like a couple hours. Um, if I finished earlier than that, great, I have a whole evening in Hollywood Studios. If I started late, quite often I go to Hollywood Studios, not always, not always, I did try and go to other parks, but um, Hollywood Studios was like the go-to because it just was such a safe place for me eventually. And of course I'd spend my days off there as well. Um, at the time, this was 2016, this was before Toy Story Land, this was before Galaxy's Edge, I think they were being built at that point, and um, Hollywood Studios was a very small park and probably not a whole day park, but I would make it a whole day park a lot. I went so many times on my days off just for the whole day, I would spread out like meeting Chewie and Kylo Ren throughout the day, um, I would go Star Tours, I would see like multiple um, showings of Galaxy Far Far Away and March of the First Order, and then of course I'd go see the fireworks. Um, I saw fireworks much, much more than I saw Phantasmic, and I am ashamed of that. I've probably seen Phantasmic like twice in my life, and I spent like two months living there, and I went for two weeks the following year, and I don't think I even watched it once when I went the year after, but I think it did get cancelled because of the weather. So that might be why. I do love the fireworks though. My brain loves repetition. If I find something that I love, I am gonna do it a lot and it, that is just what it became to me. It became such a safe space. I ended up renting the movies on YouTube to watch in my apartment like after work, before work, whatever because I was like I'm definitely missing you know it's all very well me going to these shows and meeting Chewie and stuff but I'm also like barely know anything about Star Wars and like I'm really falling in love with this world while not really knowing anything about it which is really weird so um, obviously I watched the movies again and I probably watched them multiple times during my program and it just, it just culminated into such like a safe space. I cannot, I cannot like reiterate enough how much of a safe place it was for me. The cast members at Launch Bay were so lovely. Um, I got to know a few of them. 
because I went there so much and they were so nice and it was actually really sad saying goodbye to them as well as my co-workers in Animal Kingdom and I even um, got to stay with one of them, Ta, hi Ta, because I got stuck during the hurricane and um, I literally was meant to fly home that the day the airport closed because of the hurricane um, and very luckily I saw Ta taking the stormtroopers out for patrol and I was like kind of because I was like really stressed so I was just like mentioned I was like um I'm like kind of stranded because of the hurricane and um so she very quickly was just like this is my name on Facebook like search me and so we arranged it the stormtroopers were very nice got a selfie with the stormtroopers afterwards because they were very polite and did wait they were supposed to be patrolling for any um resistance spies but they um did stop so I could find somewhere to stay for the hurricane so thanks boys I love that place so much and I'm so excited to go back there I'm so excited to see Galaxy's Edge for the first time and like, I'm so excited to show my mum like this place that has so much meaning for me and of course from there um after I went home and after I went to the parks the second time obviously my love for Star Wars just grew outside of the parks so I'm really grateful for my program for starting it but then obviously experiencing The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker and just The Mandalorian everything that's come out since has been so amazing and that is probably why the sequel trilogy is my favourite because I have got to experience it as it happens um, I was too young and uninterested to enjoy the prequels as they happened and I just didn't exist during the originals so it, it that's the sequel trilogy just has the best happiest memories for me and that's not to say that I like any of them any less I just the sequels just hold so much meaning for me and so many positive memories I saw The Rise of Skywalker five times in the cinema because just seeing it in the cinema just brought me so much happiness and I think four out of well, maybe three out of the five times I saw it on my own so I could just sit there and I made sure to sit far away from everyone else and I would just um just like be emotional and have a uh like a spiritual experience <laughs> on my own and honestly it was really nice as well because I fully acknowledge that The Rise of Skywalker in particular is not perfect it has a lot of flaws and pretty much every single character deserves better but I also really enjoyed the first five viewings I had in the cinema where I wasn't paying too much attention to what everyone else thought. For those five viewings I was watching it like this is the most perfect film I've ever seen and I'm so happy I'm seeing all these characters that I really really love. Quite often with me the first time I view something I just literally am so happy to see it and enjoy it that I don't really see the flaws. So of course I see the flaws now and it doesn't really take away from my enjoyment but I also really love that I've had that moment of just enjoying it for enjoying it and not looking and critiquing anything i just was just happy to watch it yeah i if i could relive watching the last jedi and the rise of skywalker for the first time i would because i both times the first time i saw it i was on my own sat far away from everyone else and i just cried all the way through them um one point that really sticks out to me is when i thought chewie died in the rise of skywalker when the ship blows up and i was just sat there stunned like no no, like it stunned me into not crying. And then when like Hux is like, oh, we have a prisoner. And then there's two, I just like lost my, <laughs> I just lost my ship. I was just crying my eyes out. And the part where like they think they're alone and then all the ships turn up still makes me sob. It's ridiculous. So <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely rambling now. Yeah, hopefully this has given at least some kind of idea of why I love Star Wars, what Kate, how Star Wars came to be in my life, just everything about it. I just <sighs> they 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 have stupid great humor. Um, I love pretty much every single character, especially the sequel trilogy. I just watch every single scene of the sequel trilogy, and I'm just like, I love every single one of you <laughs> so much. <laughs> just like <laughs> it's like Ray's on screen. I'm just like I love her, and then there's like Finn and Poe, and I love them, and that's cool. Babu Frick and <sighs> breathe. I really love Star Wars. <laughs> so okay, I hope this made any sense and wasn't just like hysterical rambling. But um, yeah, this is just me talking about how much I love Star Wars. I actually find it really difficult to put it into words because it's sort of just like I love it because I love it because it makes me happy. Um, but deep down there is like meaning that I connect to. I really connect to Rey, especially. Can you tell? 
my chosen name was Florian Ray. Um, but <laughs> I was actually really nervous to come out with my new name because I was like, everyone's gonna judge me, everyone's gonna call me a fucking Mary Sue. Um, which she's not, by the way. Ray is not Mary Sue, but um, people like to say that. So anyway, I'm gonna probably make some other videos um, about my favorite things in Star Wars um, because just having a dance now because um there were a lot of things i love in star wars and so i want to talk about it um anyway yeah i've got to like, also get on with i'm looking at like all my ray leather pieces over there and i'm like i need to paint them <sighs> okay so thank you so much for watching um if you would like to see my lovely face then please do subscribe at the moment there's going to be a fair bit of star warsy stuff um, when it gets closer to June, I'll be starting to work on Pride Month stuff. There'll be a variety of things. I'm meant to be seeing a uh, Bimini in May, so I'm going to try and vlog that, um, which will be nice. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment down below why you love Star Wars or what's your favourite bit of Star Wars or just Star Wars. Just comment Star Wars. Mm, let's make friends. So yeah, thanks for watching. I've probably said this about 500 times now. I need to go. Need to go. But I hope you like my makeup though. It's cute, right? So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys whenever I see you because I don't know, I don't work on a schedule. Okay, bye! Because if you do, that would mean you don't support the First Order. Then you do support the First Order. Don't you? Come on, Panic! That's an order! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha